So now first of all we need to create a button to open the forward password activity. So for that I will just get into the layout of the login activity and from there I will just define one button below the login button and name it as forward password. Then getting inside the java class of the login activity I will declare and define the button for the forward password activity. So first we have to define it. Then find the view. Then I will set the on click listener for the button. Then let's start with a toast intimating the user that they can reset their password. And then after that we will start the forward password activity using a new intent. And we don't have to finish the login activity because we don't want to finish it. The user can navigate to the forward password activity and then from there they can get the password reset email in their inbox and they can reset their password and go back to the login activity and from there they can log in into the app. So we don't have to finish the login activity in short. Then after that let's create a new activity. Let it be empty activity and I will give it the name forgot password activity then finish. Let's move to the layout of the activity. Now here I'll just quickly define the layout and there's not much to be explained here since we have seen such kind of layout before also. So it's going to be pretty simple and pretty easy. So I don't think I need to explain anything here. I will quickly get it done and then we will talk about the logic part in the Java. You can keep pausing the video and follow the video.
All right, now let's move to the Java. And uh, I will start by declaring the password reset button globally. Then we have to declare one edit text variable to take the email address of the user. Then after that we have progress bar. And then finally we have the authentication variable of the Firebase. All right. Then getting inside the onCreate method, we will start by setting the title for the activity as usual. Then we have to bind the views for the edit text button and the progress bar. All right, then we have to set the on click listener on the reset password button. Now here first we have to obtain the email of the user and since the user is now clicking on the reset password button so we can assume that the user has entered its email ID so we can obtain that email ID from the edit text. And then we have to check whether the email ID was entered or not. If the email ID was not entered, we have to let the user know that they are supposed to enter the email ID without which we cannot proceed. We have seen such kind of checks in the register activity also. Then finally in the else part, we will start the progress bar. And then we will use one reset password method. And let's create this method in forgot password activity. Alright, then we will start by getting an instance of the Firebase authentication. Then using this auth profile which is the instance of the firebase auth we will use send password reset email method and this method takes only one parameter that is the email then we will add one add-on complete listener so we are going to need email here so we will make email as the parameter for the reset password method also all right then if the task was successful we will display one toast message we have seen how these methods work before also so i will just do it quickly then i will just open user profile activity And from there I will just copy where we have defined a new intent in the on options item selected method so I will just copy the intent from there and I will paste it in the forward password activity under the reset method right after displaying the toast and then I will change the context 
This is to make sure that after one reset email has been sent to the user successfully, the user is returned back to the main activity and is not held back in the forgot password activity. And then finally we have to set the visibility of the progress bar to be gone. And also if you want you can display one toast in the else part. Anyways then let's run the app. And let's try to reset the password. So it's working fine. Now in the next part we will do the exception handling in forgot password activity.